you may be experiencing a situation that's extremely difficult. And you're wondering, how am I going to get through this? It could be loss of employment. It could be loss of a spouse. Maybe your boyfriend broke up with you. Or your girlfriend broke up with you. It could be school. The workload seems overwhelming. And you're thinking to quit. It could be an illness. And you're asking yourself, why? You've lost hope. You're down in the dungeons. Depression has set in. And it seems as though no one cares. I want to point our attention to Mark chapter 5. And the story there hinges on a ruler called Jarius. Jarius' daughter lay sick at home. Jairus heard that Jesus was in the neighborhood. Jairus came to Jesus asking to come with him so that his daughter might be healed. When Jairus made his request to Jesus, Jesus said to him, Do not be afraid. Only believe. While Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house, a woman with a pressing issue touched the hem of his garment. She was made whole. Jesus stopped to dialogue with a woman. Who touched me? He asked. At the end of that discourse, someone came to Jairus and said, Your daughter is dead. Trouble the master no more. Jesus heard. Jesus told Darius, Jairus, sorry, do not be afraid. Only believe. And that's verse 36 of Mark chapter 5. I want to admonish you and I this morning. Regardless of the deadness of our situation, regardless of how it looks, regardless of how it sounds, regardless of how it smells, Jesus is saying to you and I this morning, do not be afraid, only believe. Why are we believing? Because Jesus is the one who spoke this world into being. And everything that we see, the worlds, the stars, the sun, those beautiful things that we admire in nature, were created by the word of God. So that very word is alive and active because that word is Jesus himself. That word can bring alive our situation, regardless of the deadness of the situation, regardless of the brokenness that came with the situation regardless of how the situation seem overwhelming jesus is saying to you and i this morning do not be afraid only believe so we need to talk to him about our situation let him know exactly how we feel about the situation let him know who would have wronged us in the situation let him know what what we are planning to do about the situation whether good or bad let him know and he is going to help us to rectify the situation. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says for us to trust in God with all our hearts. Lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. Let's trust God. Trust without borders. Don't think about if and when and why and how. Just trust without borders. Do not be afraid. Yes, the situation may seem very, very untenable and you're tempted to disbelieve. You're tempted to lose hope. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Why? God is still able. He says to us in Hebrews 13, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. And in Jeremiah 32, 27, he says, I am the God, the Lord of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Your situation and mine, regardless of how dead it appears, is not difficult for God to turn around. May God bless us as we continue to believe, regardless of what we are seeing. Have a great day.